I could not able to complete my uh, plus two on time. And uh, you know, I wasted one year of time and later I moved to my graduation. And graduation, again, a lot of friends, a lot of influence of them. And, and I was like going around, a lot of bad influences. I'm used to so many other unnecessary things. Though Jesse was born and brought up in a strong Christian family, he got carried away with worldly pleasures. My family is a strongly rooted a Christian family because my grandfather, my you know, father, and they grew up you know, in a strong Christian culture. But when it comes to me looking at all those uh, you know, church activities, I, mean, I know from my childhood how it works and all that. But somehow I was always carried a too masked life which, uh, you know, every Sunday I used to take care of all sorts of uh, activities in the church. And, uh, you know, weekdays, you know, I used to hang out with the friends and going up, uh, you know, doing all, uh, you know, unwanted things worldly. His happy-go-lucky life changed when a friend questioned him about eternity. In 2004, there was a Dilshik Nagar bomb blast happened. That very night, I was at my sister's place and uh, one of my friends, she messaged me saying, today a bomb blast happened. There's so many people have died. One day you and I will be died. And I have a faith that I will meet God. What is your position? And that made me uh, you know, think a lot. You know, that night I could not even sleep. Troubled, Jesse reached out to his church youth leader for help. And when I shared this story with him, he encouraged me from the word that, yes, this is the right time for you to know what God has done in your life. And at the same time, he encouraged me to speak with my pastor. And these two has, you know, given me a lot of impression on how big the God is in our lives. From then on, there was no looking back. Jesse started to grow in the Lord. He began to put his complete trust in Jesus and started to be faithful in every small and big aspect. After accepting Christ uh, as my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I used to you know, spend a lot of time in the church, you know, faithfully I was working, involved in all the activities, you know, doing all sorts of uh, church related works and used to part of a lot of outreach work and all that. So in those little things, I used to be always faithful towards God. As Jesse started to grow in his faith, God started to honor him and show favor upon his life. You know, opportunities came to me. And I could remember uh, my earlier organization when I went for an interview there. You know, one of the topmost person, the HR director of the organization interviewed me. And he asked me, what is your qualification? I said, sir, I, I'm an undergrad. I could not complete my graduation. I have a backlog. And he laughed at me and said, my office assistant is an MBA grad, but I still give you a job and I promise me that you have to give me your graduation certificate next year. And I said, okay to it. And when I came out and it was, I believe that God has favored me in a wonderful, wonderful way. As committed, Jesse completed his graduation and went on to successfully complete his MBA. Today, I'm in a, you know, one of the you know, good position I'm a state head for Andhra Pradesh in Telangana. And I deal with all the hardcore electrical uh, manufacturers in India. And this job is well suitable for a guy who has done triply e, electrical electronic uh, engineering. And I'm just an MBA grad and I'm doing this job. So it, this is also again a wonderful uh, testimony I can give. God has favored me in this. Today, Jesse is married to Mamta Hima Bindu and together they focus on being faithful in everything God has blessed them with. It is very important for us to be in God's faithfulness because I believed if I alone do it, I alone do it and struggle for it. But when I, you know, in God's faithfulness, it's God who stands in our shoe and He leads us. So uh, that is what happened in my life. I, you know, shown, you know, uh, I trusted him in little things and I was faithful to him in little things and God honored me in a wonderful way and this is what I can truly say with confidence.